Hey, I'm Brent and this is Connor. We have finished the nursery and it's been six whole months since Zoe was born, which means it's been about a year since we painted this mural. We've had the footage waiting around and we just are now getting around to editing it. Connor and I noticed something interesting as we were watching the footage back. What'd you notice? We ran away clothes! I know. It's been a year and wouldn't you know today, Connor and I are both wearing the same clothes we were wearing the day we painted this. The goal of this video is to show you how we painted this mural, but not just how to paint a cloud mural, also how to paint any wall mural. There's a few key things that I do when I paint a mural, and it probably goes against all the things I learned in art school. We use paint rollers, we use house paint, we use paint samples, we don't mix paint. There's a bunch of tips I'm gonna give you in this video as Connor and I paint this cloud mural. We want to show you how to do your own mural. If you want to paint the cloud mural, awesome. If you want to paint a different mural, this video will help you do that. So check out the whole video. Give us a like and let us know that this is helpful to you. And leave us a comment if you have any questions. Since it's really hard to consistently mix big batches of paint, we just use the Sherwin-Williams Color Snap app to find about five to eight different colors in a reference image. And then we take those colors to Sherwin-Williams and they pre-mix them and we buy the colors to go sample sets of paint. And I'm gonna to try to outline kind of the rough cloud shape on the wall. Um, this will all get covered up with highlights and shadows, but this will give me something that I can kind of say, all right, the lower half is going to be pinkish, the topper half is going to be teal, and this is kind of where it changes. Can I have a little paint? Yeah. What kind of paint would I have? Fill out, it's kind of soft. Yeah. So it's going to put a lot of paint on the wall. Okay. So we're going to paint this bottom half kind of pink. And then I'm going to paint the top half kind of tan, and then we'll mix them together. So I'm going to... No, you don't have on me. Okay, mix it around. Whee! All right, like that. All right, now come put it on the wall. Okay? I'll spread it out so that it looks smooth, okay? Then go off with yeah, a just... rainbow. Uh-huh. There you go. Yeah, go up and down. That'll be easier. Yeah, there you go. Can I show you? Yeah. Oh, looking all the way on there. Thanks for helping. Ooh, yeah. Get it. Okay, now give me more paint. Oh, yeah. Go more paint. Go more paint. Ooh, now it's. My turn. So first we're gonna lay on the kind of medium tone. So I'm doing a pink into kind of a, I don't know, muted shadow and try to fade it. So the goal is to do wet on wet. So you have kind of wet pink paint here and then I'll come in with some darker paint over here. And then in the middle, if we roll it together, it should kind of merge and create a gradient across. We'll do the same up there with the teal. So Connor's helping me lay the big areas of paint and then I'll come back in with the wet roller and mix them together. Now that I have all the medium tones on, the 
last highlights I did and this medium tone feel like they're not really connected. So I'm going to go ahead and add the highlight onto the top of the darker clouds. When I do the teal at the top, I'll probably have to come back and redo the highlight because that's where it will bleed into it. But that'll give me a chance to kind of try to define the shape. Once I do the teal, I can come back and then kind of perfect that shape I'm working on trying to figure out what it looks like. The nice thing about clouds are they're organic and they're always the same. So if you figure out kind of a style and pattern with the way that you do your um, shapes, the kind of circles or arcs, then it'll look consistent and good as long as you keep it the same throughout. Before I move on to the sky, I'm gonna switch out my paint roller. It's a completely different color palette with the green versus kind of the more pinks and reds. So um, I'm leaving the other roller over there. So if I mess something up, I can grab it, switch it out and kind of fix it and keep this roller. One for the more green teal and one for the pink and tans. My goal is to get from the uh, lighter up to the darker, more saturated green. And since I kind of already like the shape I have going here, instead of using the roller, I'm gonna use a brush and then I'll roll the main area to blend it and roll the top. So first I'm gonna come in with the brush and then once I get a couple of inches kind of perimeter, then I'll go back with the roller. See, once I get enough wet green paint and wet gray paint, as I roll it kind of lightly, it really just mixes together and you don't really see the brush mark. If you do see a roller mark, just go over it the opposite direction and it, so if you're going up and down, go side to side and it will lessen the contrast between the two colors. So I was pretty happy with the way everything was looking. We took a break to eat dinner and gave it time to dry and then kind of come back at it with fresh eyes and fix a couple of things um, that I didn't like, like the sky was just a little too green. So I brought the gray up quite a bit further and then kind of better defined some of these clouds. And now that I've got all the color in the right places, 
I'm gonna go back and try to blend some of the marks. The roller is a good like flip way to get the paint on there. But once the paint's on there in the general area, sometimes it's just difficult like over here to get it. Some of these paint roller marks when it's like a stark contrast. So I'll use a brush and do kind of a dry brush, put a little paint on, wipe most of it off and then just kind of blend it together. So I'm working on blending the rest of it out and I think it's pretty close. I tried the darkest color on the shadow and it was way too dark. So I think I like it the way it is. I'm gonna add a couple of birds and I'm using that darkest tone because it was so dark. It really stood out for the clouds, but I think it'll work well for just like a couple little bird silhouettes. When all else fails, wipe it off. Put a little paint back over it. <laughs> Paint a bird somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take two. This might be a morning activity, but I'm gonna try one more time. Kinda looks like a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come back to the bird thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel if this video was helpful. We're going to make more videos like it. And what do you think about the mural? Good. Yeah, and we're pretty we're pretty proud of what we made.